do, do what you want to do. Looking back, looking back, retrospective, retrospective. Well, what is the most unusual um, legend or rumor you've heard about yourself? Oh, um, I can't think actually. There's yeah, been a lot. Uh, Chaos and creation in the backyard. You figure it out. That's called an ambigram. But we were just goofing around. Sir George Martin, the producer, announced that there is a secret code on love. A secret message confirming that the other secret messages are there. Sir George Martin's coat of arms is rather interesting. It features a zebra perhaps referring to the zebra crossing at Abbey Road, an ancient religious symbol known as a soul catcher. Don't you start tampering with beetle material, you're tampering with the Holy Grail. The shield references the beetles as stag beetles, but only three beetles. Why? The new album is called Memory Almost Full. There's a rumor that's an anagram of for my soulmate LLM, Linda Louise McCartney. I was going to put little clues, but then hiding little sort of words. And it was going to be some sort of hidden message. See, you're so very clever. People don't want to know what the truth is because they could never, ever handle it. They would be too devastated. And that's why I've stayed quiet. And I have a box of evidence that is going to a certain person should anything happen to me. This evidence is against a certain party that behaved in a terrible way. Something so awful happened. Um, someone I'd loved for a long time, I found out, had betrayed me immensely. And I don't mean infidelity or anything like that. Like, beyond belief. People don't want to know what the truth is because they could never, ever handle it. They would be too devastated. Is it criminal? Is it something up like that? I can't say it. Fireman likes you too.
At the very end of the album, there is one second of noise. It's a little bit strange because people did start looking at me like... Is it, is it him or a very good double? Well, that was the idea. That was the other part of it, that there was a guy who looked like you taking your place. No, well, this is him. All right, try and sort of pretend I'm not him. So, you know, I feel like it's going to justify living, you know, which is a bit of a piss off, because I don't really want to have to sit around and justify this and fix it in But there are lots of things that haven't come out. You know, I mean, there was a period a few years ago when I was dead. Dead, you know, Paul was dead. I was dead. You about that. Are, are you? No, I'm not actually dead, no. Not actually. Just a good, uh, replica. Just a good, uh, replica. <laughs> The two people closest to the Beatles were their personal assistants, Neil Espinal and Mal Evans. Neil died in 2008, after 40 years as head of Apple. Maybe he never wrote a book, but if he had, Neil said it wouldn't be known to the public before at least four years after his death, or the year 2012. He was the, the roadie, but he really was the rock. Mal was their mountain. Mal was a big guy who followed Paul everywhere. If anybody could tell the full story about what happened to Paul, it would be Mal. If Mal had written the book, we might learn why Paul and Mal left England in October 1966 and drove through Europe to Spain for a flight to Nairobi, Kenya. This 8mm film was made by Mal Evans on the trip. In Kenya, apparently the two traveled to the Kishi Highlands, perhaps to experience how the natives there live. After a few days, they went to a hospital where Paul apparently needed treatment. Ten days later, Mal took him on safari. And then on November 19th, they returned to London. Mal went straight to Paul's house on Cavendish Avenue and immediately fired Paul's loyal longtime butler, George Kelly, forcing him out of the house. George Kelly never saw Paul again. Paul and Mal Evans come up with this idea of Sergeant Pepper. I was Sergeant Pepper fixing a hold with Paul. It was at a point when he was living in his house in London. His housekeeper had left, and I, I lived with him for four months. Mm -hmm. And on top of the house, he had a small music room. You know? And he uh, used to sit at the piano, and that's when we got Sergeant Pepper. On January 5th, 1976, Mal was on the phone with his good friend from the Beatles days. Mal told him he had worked out some problems with Paul and that he would be receiving royalties for all the songs he'd written. He sounded worried. He said, Paul and I have just worked out some problems and he's going to give me credit for some of the things I wrote with him. Mal Evans had almost finished his book, Living the Beatles Legend. If anything happens to me, please make sure the book gets published. Four hours later, Mel Evans was killed by a police patrol led by former Kennedy investigator Charles Higby. The official police justification for killing Mel was that 
he was standing and waving an air rifle. Please make sure the book gets published. The manuscript, which lay inside a locked suitcase, disappeared. This suitcase is considered the holy grail of Beatles historians. The suitcase disappeared. Now it looks like somebody found it. Now we're there. He was in that room for crazy. Thank you. 